Yeah. Wait, so, but I did see you right after quarantine, right? I think it was like, the single last time I saw you was like, no. Have you ever grown it out this long? Nope. <laughs> Bro, that's crazy. I mean, honestly, it doesn't look horrible. <laughs> Mi gente, I know that right now you're probably thinking, okay, Fonz, why are you pausing this video? I'm pausing this video because we have a lot of new viewers and I've come to notice a lot of them are women. Ladies, right now, I'm speaking to you and I'm letting you know it's gonna be okay. He wanted to do this and it's not just because I'm a barber and most people in my case don't wanna deal with this much hair. Now, I'm not speaking on behalf of all the barbers. There's plenty of barbers out there in the world of barbering that can manage his hair. But I, for one, am not one of them. Now, saying that I'm not down to learn but then again, do I really want to? Do I really want to deal with this much hair? It's just a fact. I have nothing against anybody that has made a career out of this type of hair cutting, but not me. I just don't want that to be me. And Matt went a while since I've cut his hair. I've actually cut his hair for at least a year. He has a regular cut, but then again, what is a regular cut? I hate when a, a client sits down on my chair and asks for a regular cut. Isn't that so freaking annoying? Of all the freaking cuts that you've ever done in your life, of all the cuts that you've ever seen in your life, and you want a regular cut, I don't know what that is. But look, for as long as I've cut Matt, he's gotten the same cut. It, was, it wasn't my favorite. Matt's cut to me has always been one that just doesn't take that much time, right? I wasn't too big on Matt's cut in the past, but there was something about him walking through that door and me seeing all that hair that let me know this was my second go around figuring out a better look for him. And he knew he didn't want to go for the same look, which Matt, by the way, bro, like I'm super happy for you that you chose a different look. Now I know what you're thinking. This is not the most elegant way of cutting somebody that walked in with Fabio hair, luxurious and all, and all of a sudden we're just butchering through this thing. Listen, what's happening here is that I'm prepping up for what he wants out of this haircut. And what is it that he wants out of this haircut? I'll tell you. He wants you to press that like button. And not only does he want you to smash the like button, he also wants a slick back. And that is what I'm prepping for, a slick back. Now, he doesn't wanna do a skin fade. He wants to keep it pretty dark around the ridge. And he, wa he wasn't veering off too much from his old cut. He still wants me to go and give him a skin taper on the sides and the back and still kinda keep it dark right above that. So about a three was as low as we went, I believe. Now, listen, again, this is not sexy. I understand if you're upset. Pero tu sabes que, I'm just going. You you just gotta go for those that 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 suffered through this because I know I I know what you're thinking I know what you're thinking this cut is a lot I don't normally cut this I don't normally cut people like Matt that come in with luxurious hair no I cut low cuts all day that's what I do that's my comfort zone now this this is the equivalent of you know that movement you do when you pull your pants up just in case and make sure you know you're ready for it? And when it comes to feeling this way, what happens is that you just gotta go or you're gonna be overthinking. And when you overthink, this ends up being a super long service that will make the client not wanna come back or at least not come back to you. The possibilities are endless, I promise. You can't overthink it. As long as you have a good understanding of what it is that you're doing, just go. In my case, I grabbed the flat comb and I went with the clipper over comb technique just to create the shape, create the shape. So I'm, I'm making sure that I'm, I'm prepping up to be able to do box graduation around the ridge and keeping that crown full. That's another one, guys. I'm trying to keep the crown full so the hair doesn't sprout out. You know that whole, that whole alfalfa situation? That's what happens when you cut this type of hair real short and they're trying to go for a slick back. Remember, remember that area. It's a very sacred area that you don't want to get in the way of its natural habitat. Okay, you wanna keep it nice and full. Leave those hairs alone if they need to be a certain length. I mean, don't necessarily leave it alone. You're still gonna have to chop away, but you get what I'm saying. Like, you don't want to cut it too low. All right, that crown area needs to stay full. Remember that, we're going for a slick back, let's go. Now, Matt, I know that there's certain things that you don't wanna change when it comes to your look. And one of those things that you did not wanna change 
was your taper. You like your tapers low, Matt, and I, I understand that. So I was trying to debulk a little bit more above the ear. I was wasting my time. I'm just gonna be straight up with you. I was absolutely wasting my time. Now we're doing something productive, Fonz. We brought out the one and a half, Babylon's Guard, debulking a little bit more, okay? And after this, I mean, I shouldn't even been there that long. Come on, close it up. There you go, there you go. We have the number one guard, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and I'm going through it with, with the blade closed. Um, and right now, Fonz, we can switch it up. There you go. There you go, boy. Now we have the half all the way open first. Then you can close it halfway, and then you can close it all the way, or vice versa. I'm pretty sure on this one, it was half all the way open. Then I closed it, and I started fading it up. Now, let me just tell you something about this whole fading process and how I struggled with it due to the fact that I was not using the right clipper for this haircut. And I'm gonna tell you why it's not the right clipper. It's not necessarily on the clipper, it's on the blade. I was not using the right blade, guys. Now, this is a taper blade that I'm using from Babyliss, and I put it on the Gammas, which, by the way, Gamma, I like the fact that you're able to slightly customize what type of blade you want for your Gamma Ergos, and this is not even sponsored. I'm just letting you know that's pretty freaking cool. Um, but I made the mistake of trying to do this fade with that blade, and believe it or not, the blade that comes with the Ergos is way better for a fade, like, when it comes to using this clipper. Like, I actually still have that blade on that clipper, this blade is wasting my time. I'm literally wasting time with this blade. Throw it away. Okay, as we continue on this adventure, we're gonna go ahead and use that number four guard, bringing it all the way up to the occipital bone. And you know, we're just debulking, guys. We're working our way up. But it seems like I went from going the safe route to just straight risky business. So after that blade has been opened and that section has been made, we're gonna close that blade up. But you know what? That's not enough because after you keep doing that, you gotta grab the trimmers. You know, sometimes the blade close isn't enough. And what happens when you come across that type of situation where the, that line is just not disappearing. You gotta grab those trimmers. And those trimmers will open a gateway. A gateway to getting rid of that line. It will solve your problems. I'm telling you, use the trimmers. They help a lot. Okay, so it has begun. We are doing some shear work here and what we are starting with is a vertical section. I'm basically dabbling around to figure out what's gonna work best for him. I did check, no, you know what? I'm gonna admit this. I don't think I double checked enough with him with how much he wanted off as far as showing him the mirror. I asked him, he did tell me, but this is a great example of guys, show your client. If you don't show your client, 
I will promise you this, you're gonna have to run it back. And you don't wanna run it back. Trust me, it's annoying. Imagine you're getting close to the end. You're about to win. You're about to go past the finish line. Listen to me. You're about to pass the finish line. You are getting close. You have done it all. You have gone through the race. The race, you are tired. You are literally about to finish. Then you come and show your client the cut. And guess what? You lost the race because you're gonna have to run it back. You don't want that. You don't want that. So make sure you do this process correctly. Don't make the mistakes I make, guys. That's partly why I make these videos because we're both going through this journey. By me putting it out to the universe, to y'all, I'm telling myself, you better not do this again. Boy, you better not do this again. This is a reminder for me, and this is just a lesson for both of us. I just don't, don't do it. You don't have to run it back. Show your client the mirror. Show them how much you're cutting off from the top. They will appreciate it, and it will save you a lot of time. Because now, I have brought out the blow dryer. I am closer to my fate. This sucks. I know this now, and I'm hating this every moment of it because i'm just thinking to myself i'm good man i'm good i'm about to go ahead and dry this hair as best as i can because i'm no pro at that either but baby i'm working on it you know just a little bit more detail fonts just a little bit of more detail and we're gonna be good but fonts little do you know you're in for a lot of hurt see he's thinking about it and then he came and told me the truth he wanted more off so please please guys Hit the like button and let me know what you think about this video on the comment section. But also, please, don't make this mistake, okay? We're getting close to the end. Matt wants the beard a little bit cleaned up, all right? I'm cleaning it up, but I'm not bringing it too high. Remember, he wants to keep a beard, not a chin strap. Don't bring it up to the chin, okay? Just wanted to remind you. And then the same thing with the mustache. He wanted to keep the mustache as natural as possible. But when it comes to the beard, I'm preserving it. I'm making sure that I don't bring the line down so low that it ends up being the most defined beard. Not every beard has to look like that, guys. In his case, he just wants it cleaned up. Nothing crazy, nothing low he wants to keep it as full as possible so that means there's no reason for a real sharp line not every guy wants that trust me it's not the case just understand okay uh but mira psst, matt listen bro i gotta talk to you bro okay matt uh the truth of the matter is this you challenged me bro and i appreciate that about you matt you know what i'm saying like you took some time away from me bro i haven't seen you in a minute but you came back and challenged me that was the blessing of this cut because we need it. We as barbers need to be challenged. We as barbers need to be taken out of our comfort zone. So Matt, I, me, Joe, appreciate you for coming back and letting me do this and letting me record on top of that. So you and I know how much of a headache that was. Look, bro, you have put yourself in a situation, endured your hair to grow at a length that you never experienced. You experienced it, you enjoyed it, but it had to come to an end. And now my friends, this is Matt. Listen, Matt, keep the slick back, keep it going. I like it, I hope we could keep Updating actually it'll be pretty cool if I update y'all with this type of cut with Matt that will be cool Even though guys, I just mentioned preventing yourself from having to run it back I want to run it back with this cut. I want to do this cut with my eyes closed So we're gonna run it back one of these days with Matt hopefully and uh, Yeah, I want to show that I could conquer this cut without having to doubt it. Hold up guys I know that what you just saw me do was very questionable and you probably wouldn't want to learn much from me, but there are way better people you can learn from on the 245 Academy. Dozens of videos to see, great barbers to learn from. I'm also there. So make sure you click on the link below in the description to sign up. Yeah.